One morning, Henry was feeling very sorry for himself. Sometimes he could pull trains, but sometimes he felt he had no strength at all. I suffer dreadfully and no one cares. Rubbish, Henry, snorted James. You don't work hard enough. So Topham Hatt spoke to him, too. What's wrong with you, Henry? You have had lots of new parts and new paint, too, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, we must get another engine instead of you to do the work. This made Henry, his driver, and fireman very sad. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting when Henry came to the platform. He had taken off his hat and coat and put on overalls. Henry managed to start, but his fireman was not satisfied. Henry is a bad steamer, he said to Sir Topham Hatt. I build up his fire, but it doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried very hard, but it was no good. He didn't have enough steam and came to a stop outside Edward's station. thought Henry. I shall have to go away. Oh dear, oh dear. All he could do was to go slowly onto a siding and Edward took charge of the train. Sir Topham Hatt and the fireman went on discussing Henry's troubles. What do you think is wrong, fireman? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Excuse me, sir, he answered, but the fact is the coal is wrong. We've had a poor lot lately, and today it's worse. The other engines can manage. They have big fireboxes. Henry's is small and can't make the heat. With Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine. It's expensive. Can't the other? The coal is wrong. We've had a poor lot lately, and today it's worse. The other engines can manage. They have big fireboxes. Henry's is small and can't make the heat. With Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine. It's expensive, said Sir Topham Hatt, but Henry must have a fair chance. James shall go and fetch some. When the Welsh coal came, Henry's driver and fireman were excited. Now we'll show them, Henry, old fellow. They carefully made his fire putting large lumps of coal like a wall round the outside. Then the glowing middle part was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire just when we want it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely and he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? Beep, beep, beep. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking. Beep, beep, beep. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Pulling nicely, and he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? Beep, beep, beep. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking, warned Sir Topham Hatt. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. back. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady, old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the station. Thomas puffed in. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry. Oh, I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
said Thomas to the coaches, have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had. 